lots of personal relationships when they have different meta programs. So the business one is what I use in business for team building, recruitment, all those kind of things. And the personal relationships one is the one that I use when I'm doing relationships coaching, and they have different they have different meta programs. On them. Just depending on the context, is some that are more appropriate, more useful than others. So you should actually have two copies of each in there. Have you got a blank one as well? Have you got a blank one in your manual? Yes. Okay, that's great. So the blank one in your manual is the one to use in the exercise. Okay. So there's a blank one of these, business profile. Then that's the one to use in the next exercise. Keep this one unwritten on, because that you can use as a master for photocopying uh, and, and, and using more of them. So use the blank one in the manual for the exercise. That keeps you a master copy. <coughs> blank one in the manual is probably at the back of the at the right at the back. Four, I've got it's four twenty one in my uh, yeah. Sorry, um, with respect to the copyright here, you're saying that we can actually use this yeah. with our clients. Yeah. Right. That's why I said keep a yeah. keep a keep a clean one, <laughs> so you can photocopy it, use it as much as you want. Um, okay, so I'm going to do, what I want to do is I want to do a demonstration of actually um, how you elicit. I'm going, to, I'm going to do the one on the business profile. Profile one. Sorry, Dan, yeah. what is the situation vis-a-vis -vis copyright? Um, Not this, this particular one, but the whole manual. Okay, I mean, obviously it's copyright um, performance partnership. There are certain pieces in here where it says use with permission from various people, because some of the stuff I got from other people, so it's got used with permission in certain places. Um, as far as the copyright is concerned, it's copyright and performance partnership. Um, and on the on the trainer's training, um, we actually, this, this, this manual is our manual, so it's different from the one that Tad uses. Okay? Um, but on the trainer's training, Tad actually makes available the um, practitioner and master practitioner manuals, the practitioner and master practitioner PowerPoint slides, available at additional cost on a CD-ROM, um, which you then have free free will to use as much as you want. I haven't done the practice course. As far as this, we photocopy a picture that's in here that we use in our practice. As, I mean, as long as the copyright's still on it, that's fine. acknowledge that. Yeah, as long as you acknowledge it. Um, or if you, I mean, as soon as you change the words around, then it's not copyright anymore, anyway. So, you know, I, either way. But if you want to use it as it appears in here, just acknowledge it and I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, no issues about that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I want to do a demonstration of how we, uh, we do the business profile. If you turn over the page, what I'm going to do and what you're going to do in the exercise is you're going to go down to number 15. <coughs> Attention direction you would you would get from observing the person in certain situations. There's no question for that. What I've also put on here is space for listing somebody's decision making strategy. And also there's space for listing the person's values for their job down here as well. So that essentially what you would do from a from a recruitment or a business point of view is you'd you'd do that you'd have one of these for all of your employees and people you work work with you. So you'd have their better program profile their decision-making strategy, and their values, all on one piece of paper, yeah, which you keep in the staff file, which is useful stuff. Um, but I want to show you, so I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to go down to um, number 15. Okay, we're going to demonstrate how you should go about doing that, the kind of, kind of speed you, you do it at. Okay? Also, you put, I put a frame around it. Obviously, when I'm using this, I'm, I'm enlisting these better programs overtly, because yeah? um, I'm going to use the actual, uh, the actual form and I put a frame around it as far as that I want to ask the person some questions. And as soon as I have all the information from them that I require from the question that I've asked them, what I want to do is move straight on to the next question. And I'll make sure, and I'll say, is that, is, so what I'll do is I'll interrupt you, I'll stop you, and I'll move on to the next question if that's okay with you. Because with some of these questions, with some people, they'll talk for 15 minutes. You know, and you're not getting any more useful information at all, but they're just waffling on. And that, that really doesn't work for a meta program solicitation. So you want, but you need to set a pre-frame up, because otherwise they wonder what you're doing when you're like, okay, stop. Yeah, so you need to you need to you need to actually uh, pre-frame that up front. 
uh, as far as as far as what you're going to do. So who who's willing to be a demonstration subject and have your meta program? Who's who's like whoo, very fast there? So Andrew, come up to the uh, to the stage here. information that I need from the particular question, what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that I've got all the information I need so that we can just move straight on to, um, straight on to the next question. So, um, Andrew, what, what's important to you about our job? It's fun. Fun. Okay. Um, entertaining. It's a challenge. Um, it stretches me. Okay. And why, why, is fun in, in, uh, why is fun important to you? Fun. Um, being entertained. Excellent. Okay. Why, why is being entertained important oh, to you? Um, I think you, everybody's got a mind and they should use it. Okay. Uh, and the more stimulating environment you can be in, the more you're going to use your mind. Uh, okay. And then the, the more things you're going to think of, and uh, that's going to give you more opportunities. Okay, great. And um, why is challenge important to you? Pretty much for the same reasons that uh, people rise to challenges. Uh, you put someone in a challenge, they're going to draw more on themselves, more on their resources, and that in turn, it's like going to the gym. The okay. more you use it, the more you can use it. Great. Okay. So, um, why are you choosing to do what, you, what you're doing currently? Then it gives me mostly some of those things. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's quite a challenging job. Uh, it's quite creative. Um, it's always something new each day. Uh, there's always something different each day. We're with a lot of people. Um, okay, that's great. Yeah. So, uh, in, in your job, how do you know when you've, uh, when you've done a good job? Do you just know, or does, yeah. does somebody have to tell you? Um, it's always good when someone tells you, as well. Okay. But okay. I could. Yeah. I'll be happy. All oh, right. That's great. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. And when you're working with other people, how do you know that a coworker is good at his or her job? Do you need to see them do it? Do you need to have somebody tell you about how good they are? Do you need to do it with them, or do you prefer to read a report about how, how good they are? I think I prefer to be told. Told. Okay. Yeah. That's great. And how often does a co-worker have to demonstrate their competence to you before you're convinced that they're competent? One or two times. One or two times. Great. Brilliant. Okay. So w when you're working with other people, do you, do you know what you need to do to increase your competence or your abilities on the job? Okay. That's good. And do you know what other people yes. need to do? And do you find it easy yes. to tell them? Yeah? <laughs> Great. And uh, so when, when you come into a situation, new situation, do you usually act quickly after sizing it yes. up, or do you tend to do a detailed... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me about a work situation that you were in, um, that where you were at your absolute happiest, a, a one-time event. Uh, I was working, developing a computer game in Norway. Um, uh, I'd come up with game design myself, I was leading the team, um, took it right away from start to end, all the way through the project cycle. It met all the sales goals and it won some awards. Okay. Would that would that situation have been as, as happy for you if you hadn't have been leading the team? No, it, would, no, it wouldn't be as, as happy. No. Okay. No. That's great. Um, do you have a favourite restaurant? Yep. Okay. Why is that Why is that restaurant your favourite restaurant? Oh, it's a really nice cosy little place. It's... Um, lots of, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, if we were going to do a project together, Yes. Uh, would you really, really want to know all the data, details first, or the big picture first? Big picture. Big picture first. Well, it's about. And once you've got the big picture, would you really need the details? Mm, not really, because you can figure most of those out from the big picture. Okay. Okay. Well, they're, they're necessary to get the job done. Right. But okay. You know, they'll come later. Okay. So great. Right. right at the beginning. Of the um, what's the um, relationship between those three boxes? Those are the same. That one's different. Um, they all look to be the same size. Um, yeah, the one, obviously the one on the left sticks up, but yeah, two, uh, two on, the, on the right. Okay. Right the Brilliant. Okay. So tell me about a, um, a work situation that gave you the most trouble. 
Yeah, um, I was working with a colleague. Um, I had spent several hours explaining this process to him, what we're doing, and sat with him with it, and he just didn't get it. Uh, three or four hours later, he still didn't seem to get it, and I, 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 I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I told him what I thought of him. Um, he stormed out of the room, and the rest of the team went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. You can just put that out to one side, okay, that's over and done with. Um, so what I'd like to do is to ask you to just stop and relax for a moment and recall a memory from the past. Um, now, will you just point for a moment in what direction the past is for you? Behind you, okay. And in which direction is the future? Okay, that's great. Brilliant. Um, what, was, what was the last thing you said to yourself just before you got out of bed this morning? Um, let's go. Let's go. Okay. It might be me. Um, <laughs> not sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no, let's go. Brilliant. Okay. Good. We're done. That was um, five minutes and six seconds. <laughs> okay. So uh, let me let, let's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to utilise that. But let, let's just let's just unpack that. So um, what I got for direction sort was towards with a bit of away from. The bit of away from, the tip off for the bit of away from was, there was no negation there, but there were some comparative deletions, as in more of this. Yeah? Oh, okay. Which suggests that there is some away from there. But it's not a lot of away from, so I, I went, it was towards with a, with a bit of away from. Reason sort was totally possibility, because it was all, all options and choices. Uh, frame of reference was internal with an external check. Um, Convincer representation was here. Is the demonstration was a two times convincer. Uh, management direction with self and others. Uh, action level sort very, very quick was active. Um, uh, affiliation filter was management. Um, and work preference was systems, because he was talking very much about the systems of the game, yeah, all the stuff he was, he was working on. Um, primary interest filter was place. Uh, chunk size, I actually had chunk sizes global to specific. Not just global. He said, I, 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 "Would you really need the details?" He said, "No, because you can you can get the de you can create the details from the big picture." He said, "Obviously, the details are important for getting the job done, but I wouldn't need to hear them." So what he what he actually does is he makes up the details, but he but he <coughs> does need them. So I still global to specific. If it was just global, he got the no, no, no. Just, I just I just don't want anything to do with any of the details. Yeah, so it's global to specific. Relationship sort was same as with exception. Yeah, they're all the same except that, and he actually said it. They're all the same except this one. Then he cycled around again and it went like these. These two are the same over here. Yeah, they're all the same. It's just that one that's up on his head. So that's same same as with exception. Uh, emotional stress response was choice. As he was talking about the the incident, his eye pads kept going down into kinesthetic, coming up, going around somewhere else, down into kinesthetic again, coming back out, going into kinesthetic, coming back out again. So that proved he had choice. He didn't go into kinesthetic and stay there. He kept dipping into kinesthetic. So he's obviously, he's obviously accessing the feelings around it, but he comes out again. So he has a choice, choice as far as that's concerned. And um, time storage is in time, front to back. And modal operator sequence, we've got that, let's go. Okay. Uh, although there was the possibility of you know, needing to uh, yeah, do whatever else. <laughs> okay. So. Just, um, and what, I, what I've actually done here, I mean, on, on there, the three main values that were mentioned, fun, entertainment, and challenge, I've actually written there. What I'd actually do in the grand scheme of things is I'd actually elicit all of his values for, for business. Okay. So as far then as, um, as feeding this back, let's see what would happen for a start if I, um, if I mismatched it with a job offer. Okay. Okay. And see... Um, um, and see and see what happens. So um, I've, I've got this. Um, I'd like to offer you this particular job, and um, the, 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 the thing around this job is that there are certain things within the job that you just have to do. You've got to do it. There's just absolutely no choice about it whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, do, we, do we do we need to do, do we need to say more? You know? And basically, in this particular job. Um, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be given feedback all the time as to, as to how we think you're doing. 
Uh, that might go contrary to how you think you're doing, but as far as we, what we think, how we think you're doing is absolutely the most important thing for you to actually integrate there. Um, and you'll, you will be spending a lot of time working on your own without, without any other people. And, um, <laughs> really uncomfortable. And it's a, and it's a um, what we need is that you'll be working with a tremendous amount of detail. Um, we look after the we look after the big, we look after the big picture for this, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, we'll, we'll we'll keep our eye on that. We just want you to look after the details as far as um, as far as that's uh, particularly concerned. And um, the um, and the massive amount of change in this job, you know, it's almost like every day will be different. Nothing will ever be the same as far as that's concerned. Um, and um, yeah. Do you want the job or...? Uh... <laughs> the only bit that's interesting is a bit about the end. Oh, right. About loss of change. Because that's a possibility and there's going to be new things. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, that fired off one of on the other ones. But up to that point, how do you think I was doing? <laughs> would, I, would I make the grade as a recruitment consultant? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. So you turn that job down. Yeah. And you come in for... Let's, let's, uh, let's say you come into... Uh, into some other other place. So, I've got a job that I'd like to offer you. Uh, it's a management position. Um, you'll be looking after a, a team of people, and they're a really good. It's, it's, they're a really good fun, fun team. You know, and one of one of our things about our, our business is that you know, if you come into work and you come into work every day, you, at least you can find it fun and entertaining. But I must say that the position, because of its nature, is quite cha quite a challenging. You know, it'll be a, a, a challenging position, and um, and. The thing around it really is that we will be able to give you some feedback about how you're doing, but really, as far as the management of the team, that's going to be down to you to really know how you're doing. Um, obviously, it's okay for you to come check with us if you need to, but it, you know, it's, it, it's down to you as far as that's concerned. That's good. And we really need a person who's, who's good at like thinking about systems. That's the that's the thing. And you know, one of, one of the things about our, our business as well is you know we said about the fun and entertainment, but we really think that people should be working in a nice place. And so, you know, the, the offices that we've got, although not to everybody's taste, I mean, some people think they're a little bit too cosy. But, the, you know, it's... it's, it's, it's <laughs> 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 so, obviously, as the, as the manager for this particular um, team, w you're really going to have to be able to hold the, hold the big picture. And the big picture, you know, we, 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 we've got the big picture. We're going to pass that on to you. To a certain extent, because of the, because of the role we're going to ask you to play, we, we really need somebody who can actually make up their own details from the from the big picture before they pass that on to the um, before they pass it on to the group. And I mean, what do, what do you think when you when you hear that? You go like, yeah, yeah that's good, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just felt the emotion. When you when you said let's go, it's like, Woo. <laughs> <laughs> let's go for it. Yeah. See, that's the so I just fired off the modal operator sequence right at the end. Yeah. Notice the difference. And that's that's pretty much utilizing all of, all of the meta programs. I mean, and you, as you notice, you don't need to utilize all of the all of the uh, meta programs. Just just pulling out certain ones gets the gets the difference, gets the juice as well, gets the gets the motivation. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.